So you don't know what's in there, but there's bone in there. We call this the UDO. Unidentified dinosaur object. But it's still pretty heavy. You don't want to take all of Wyoming home with you, but you can see the bones in here. Probably not in here. This is all rock. You know, check in mine. I should have a glue container right there. off of this either. We won't know until we get this under laboratory conditions. So you're taking a big chunk of Wyoming. Yeah, home. no choice. Navigated all the way around it pretty much, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I'm trying to get the shape on this one. Hang on, here. Go, for, go through. I'm not going to be able to do that one until this afternoon because of the shadows. It wouldn't come back at all. You chip it away after you get it out of the ground. Like I said, we'll be able to... This one has to come out because it's vulnerable to the boot because we're going to have to dig in here. So unfortunately, we, for mapping purposes, we're going to photograph this one in it, with its orientation and its uh, distance from the other bones and be able to map it in. But unfortunately, not all of them can stay in the ground before we do the grid. That, that popped out right there? Yeah, sure did. Is that a toey type guy? Looks interesting. Toe clock? Sure doesn't look Allosaurus, that's for sure. Just too haunting. You never know. A lot of rock on it. It's right here. <clears throat> that looks hand footish. Right here. A hand or foot. That looks more vertebrish, but we could be totally wrong on that. Tomorrow, we'll let him sit, hang out, we'll pop him. He's just going to get in the way. <laughs>